here at Everest, we have so many different options for the kids to take that, you know, you find a little area that you like and you can further your education in that area up to the high school. So starting even in the middle school, they have students try at least one of every class there. And then as we go further into their education, they can focus more on different areas. Here at the junior high, I like to tend to get the students in the class to just get them hands on basic information. And we work really well with the high school, senior high, to have them you know, hone in and specialize in those fields. I feel in this day and age, it really helps students be career and you know, college ready when they're comfortable with what they want to be doing. You know, they are in an environment that they feel safe and that they don't have to worry about other people judging them, so giving them those opportunities. At the junior high, we also have an ELT where if students are falling behind, they can come in for an extended learning time to help them get caught up and feel comfortable and be able to participate in class as well instead of feeling, oh, I'm behind and, you know, I'm just gonna give up. So we try to give them every opportunity that they can to be successful in all areas. In our tech ed department, we have six different areas. With that being said, I'm like, I enjoy hands-on things and I show students their life skills. And I'm not saying that they're going to, you know, in two years use this, but maybe when they own their own home, they're able to know how to use a screwdriver. They're able to use a drill press. They're able to go to the store and be like, hey, I can buy this miter saw and I know how exactly to use it. So that's one thing I want them to take away are life skills. It doesn't necessarily mean that the grade has to be perfect in my class, but I want them to use these experiences later on in life. The thing that makes me the most proud about my students would probably be the smiles on their faces when they did something. They get to take a project home, show mom and dad or aunt and uncle or who are little siblings and stuff like that, just to see the smile that, oh my goodness, I actually did this. I created this. I made this. You know, I did this with my own hands. It wasn't a friend looking at me and helping me out with or something, you know, just for them to smile and be like, holy cow, I did this.